How are you? Very good, Esther. How are you? Very good. good. Let's do it. Okay. Scallops, even though you wash them and I dry them, they release a lot of liquid. Mm -hmm. So you want to cook it at a high, mm -hmm. a high temperature. Yeah, they wouldn't get m smushy. Yeah. Right? Thank you for telling me. <laughs> what else? What else? Stuff. A little more. You could put a little more. Okay. That's great. Good. Yeah. It looks beautiful. I love all the combination of colors. Portobello. Portobello. Let me see. Hmm. Mm hmm. Delicious. Delicious. So Zerona is the first FDA cleared uh, cold laser that's used for body contouring, which means there's no heat involved, so it's virtually painless. Mm -hmm. um, there's no swelling, there's no um, downtime, no pain, there's no uh, bruising. Oh wow. Yeah, you can you get up from your treatment, you'll be absolutely fine. You want to keep doing the treatment until your fat cells are completely shrunk. So oh. once you once you shrink them because once right now they're big and you want to empty them. So that's what this laser is doing. It's puncturing a hole so that it can empty your fat cells and then you want to shrink them to their original state. They get diminished to the to the minimum uh, uh, size. Yeah. I have clients who tell me that when uh, a few weeks after that they see they feel it in their pants and much looser uh -huh. um, that they see the the difference the silhouette. in their waist the silhouette because is different exactly a lot of people have the trouble areas where it's just kind of like flat and straight mm -hmm. um, the Zerona is contouring your body it's making your waist smaller Perfect. but not just your waist your thighs your arms it your cells are communicating with each other oh my god so interesting. Uh, you told me just to so go just like pull one foot in front of the other like this yep. Chest out. Uh huh. A little more, but, but put both feet nice and stable. Even the other Oh, back. this one? Okay. Now, now hold on. Now okay. Chest out. Mm -hmm. I'll just press it right out. Straight okay. Out. Like out. this? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Chest out. That's it. Now keep your stomach tight. There okay. You go. Very good. I had to, See, I had to spend like one, like one year doing this for my okay. arms now. Mm -hmm. You're going to keep your chest out. Now just one arm at a time. Okay, now grab the back of the bench here. Okay. Now get a good posture, and you're just going to roll it into your chest. Oh. And keep straight. And do it like eight, then you can explain it. Oh, that's it just perfect. Just your back muscle, mm -hmm. and also it's keep as tight your abdominals. Oh, yeah. And keep straight. You look straight. Don't look to the side. That's it. Oh, okay. And you want to pull your shoulder down and back. Okay. What is 3D effect facelift? It's a thread which is absorbable, which goes underneath the skin, lifts your face, lifts your neck, lifts your skin, basically makes it tight and uh, gets dissolved within 12 weeks and disappears in your skin but the effect stays for a year or two years. What it does, it glues the skin to the tissue. Mm -hmm. It glues it without increasing the volume. So you're basically stitching it on, creates scar tissue and stays there. And when you do it as a corset, Number one, because imagine if you have something there, of course it's going to hurt a couple of days and you're going to be holding your belly, you're going to be right. holding your, your spine straight and whether you like it or not, your back pain is going to disappear because your muscles of your abdomen are working, plus muscle is working, it's going to hold, there's a tone, right? Mm -hmm. Plus, it also irritates those acupuncture pressure points, which increases your metabolism. See, it's, it's actually, it's true, it was developed as medical, because Chinese medicine, well, that's what they do when they put acupressure, they also put sometimes the needle for a couple of days, so the needle will stay and irritate that meridian, they put it over here. So the principle is the same, but instead of a needle, you put the thread, and it's irritating for 12 weeks. It happens also with butolina, butolina was used for migraine first. Right, right. Right? And still then now it's just bottom. Still using, exactly. Right. Pretty much, that's what I tell my clients. I want to be the, the, the cool advisor that tells them, say, listen, go after your dreams because that's what's in your heart to do. In the meantime, I'm the guy in the back office that works with your trusted advisors to make sure that your money's intact, you're earning a good return on your investment, your family's secure, your retirement's secure. Right. What else? Well, pretty much business owners and individuals, they have a lot of pressure on them financially nowadays. 
they're not making any money in their savings accounts. In order to make one and a half percent, you have to lock your money up for five years. One and a half percent, right? Five, that's a CD. People have never heard of tax-free income, or they may have heard of it and they think it's fantasy land. Well, it actually can happen using certain types of life insurance products that have guaranteed cash value growth. Yes, there are guarantees in this uncertain climate. We can provide cash, tax-free growth, and I don't know many people that would say no to having tax-free growth. If you're starting a business, you're going to devote so much time into your business and your personal life. I mean, you got to enjoy your life, but at the same time, work hard. Thank you again, Jason. You're welcome. Thank you, Anna. Can HPV be transmitted even if you use protection? In this case, in this particular case with HPV, condoms protect only in 65% of the cases. That's why HPV is so prevalent. That's why it's everywhere. And that is why we recommend to use HPV vaccine for younger girls to prevent cervical cancer. There are two major families of HPV. One big family has um, around approximately 45, 50 types of them in there, which we know, maybe there's more. So that family that creates cervical cancer, that's the family that we test when we perform pap smear. The second family, which also has around 30, 40 types of them, that family is responsible for genital warts. We call it condylomas. Condylomas do not cause cervical cancer, but they also are something that needs to be prevented because it's sexually transmitted disease. Genital warts are sexually transmitted disease. They, uh, they transmit it through skin-to-skin -skin contact, and most of the time, uh, patients come with a lesion. They don't even know that they have it. Sometimes they could have a little bump, which there, sometimes it itches, sometimes it doesn't. It doesn't bother them. But in fact, if you have that bump, you actually contagious. So you could spread it further to your partner. And then who knows, if you're not with this partner anymore, that partner will spread it to another partner. And that's how those candelomas spread. Doctor, what is uh, a fat transfer? This day and age, we have the technology that allow us to take the fat alive from certain part of the body and transplant it into another part of the body also alive. Uh, we use it for in cosmetic surgery, we can use it also in reconstructive surgery and in other parts of uh, other types of procedures. A very common place nowadays is the face, the buttocks, the hips, the legs, the breast is coming up. So it, and this is making the surgery to be to change into a much safer and much easier type of surgery. Before what we were having was those kind of uh, a variety of uh, kind of fillers. Uh, we know there's a lot of problems with those kind of fillers. Mm -hmm. well, well, those were synthetic fillers. Now we're talking about natural fillers, your own fat that we take from your body and transplant from one part of the body to another part of the body where it's needed. There are different types of synthetic fillers that came and go. Uh, some are uh, collagen and some are natural hyaluronic acid. Uh, and now that we have the semi-permanent and then the permanent fillers. Um, fillers usually are not part of our body. They are strange to us and so rarely they could carry uh, antigenicity and you could, carry, could stimulate the body to produce antibodies against these, uh, uh, you know, synthetic fillers. Uh, synthetic fillers tend to go away, disappear with time because the body looks at it as a foreign material and the body always wants to get rid of it. That's why they form those, those big balls around. Sometimes they form yeah. like fibrous tissue around it. Um, also, the body looks at these synthetic fillers as un, uh, unnatural, so the body ac refuses them and they go away with time. And then there is need to put them back in and they're extremely expensive. Fat is cheap, is there, is available, and it's part of your body and stays there if you know how to keep it. Now, I want to say something that's very important. Our body looks at fat as purely food. It's the way that our body stores the excess energy and food we eat, the body stores it, changes that. Anything we eat, when you eat too much of it and the body does not need it, storage. the body stores it as fat. They change the composition into fat 
and stored as fat in different parts of the body. So to our body, fat is only food. But we grew to know fat also to be equal to shape. People who are beautiful, they have the fat distribution to be appropriate. Uh, they would have a smaller waistline, which is less fat around the area, more hips, more, fine, more fat in the hips and butt area, and so on and so forth. Thank you, doctor, for being with us. Thank you. It's my pleasure. Please come back again. Okay. Which test helped detect cancer before it develops? Uh, the screening, the first screening test that is FDA approved in 2006 called HALO test. And this test is based on idea, on the idea that breast cancer starts in the duct of the breast tissue, not in the actual breast tissue yet. In the duct of the breast, um, on the milk duct, there are some atypical cells will um, form first. And then after that, the atypical cell or high-grade cell will travel into the actual breast tissue and then develop um, breast cancer. So that process may take up to between 5 and 15 years. And that's why this test is recommended way before mammographic age, which is 40. What would be the best way that all women can take care of their vagina? Seriously, the best way to take care of your vagina is actually the less you inter interact and the less things you put in there, meaning that all these feminine products, douching, you know, things that advertise and say it's good for you, not always good for you. So it's better, the less things you put in the vagina, the better. And you don't have to be paranoid about your vagina and looking down there all the time, but you have to be aware. You have to know how does it look. You have to know how does it feel. You have to know if it has any moles in there uh, on the vulva. It has any, uh, any kind of lesions that you haven't had before and all of a sudden you feel the bump. Why don't you come in and see a doctor? Because it could be sexually transmitted disease. It could be condyloma, which is genital wart. It could be herpes. It could be anything. So. You have to be aware of the vagina and keep it healthy. You have to wear cotton underwear, use very mild soaps. You have to know your partner, of course. And if you don't know your partner, always use a condom. And if you're allergic to condoms, then unfortunately, there's a latex-free condoms, but they do not prevent sexually transmitted diseases. They're not allergenic, but they're not prevent, they do not prevent sexually transmitted diseases, they only prevent pregnancy. So you have to consider all these facts, especially the sexual partner. You have to know your sexual partner. You want to be in a relationship when you know that you're the only one with the sexual partner because the more sexual partners your partner has, the more chances for you to get all the problems, including STD and including HPV, which is sexually transmitted virus, which can cause cervical cancer. All this about it. Dancing, which is your salsa, merengue, bachata, West Coast swing hustle. Uh, we teach all of the ballroom dances, uh, you know, your waltz, tango, foxtrot, mm. as well as uh, your Latin dances, your cha cha, rumba, swing. Oh, we teach everything. What is the major satisfaction that people have told you about getting all this kind of technique for dance? Well, it's good exercise, which is very important, okay? Mm -hmm. People like to go out and dance and they like to be able to enjoy what they're doing and not look foolish. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Okay, let's make a trade. To teach me the steps that I don't know yet, and then you, I teach you some Spanish. Si. Both. Si. What, about, what about bachata? You teach bachata? Si. 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 Si.